One of the most important things in all relationships and especially marriages is keeping that spark alive. Yes. Very vital. So today we're going to get into it. Let's talk about it. Keeping the spark alive is one of the most important things in relationships and marriages because we're here for the long game. Yeah. Like this is what this channel is about, about trying to build quality, long lasting relationships that last decades long. And keeping the spark alive is something that is vital to being able to do that. Mm -hmm. Because if that spark eventually dwindles or it, it, there's no spark at all anymore, mm -hmm. then you start to get bored with your partner and then you just lose interest and you lose that that love that you mm -hmm. once had. So keeping that spark alive is very important. And yeah. like when we say keeping the spark alive, what what does it mean to you? And yeah. like what does it entail? When I think of keeping the spark alive in the relationship, it is still finding ways to pursue your partner. You know, you should continuously be dating your your partner. Um, that doesn't stop once you get the girl or you get the guy and it's mm -hmm. like, up. Oh, I did the work now to get you now. I got you. And then there's just no pursuing at all. Right. Um, we evolve and we change over time. And so things that we used to like, we may not necessarily care for before and we want to discover and try new things. And so I think that it's important for your partner to continuously be pursuing you. You know, that is part of keeping the spark alive. Um, other ways to keep the spark alive and what it entails is just like doing new things and creating new experiences right. with each other. I think that is the biggest part. And even like, you know, it's just so interesting and I kind of get excited a little bit talking about it because when I say new experiences, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to travel to another country. If that's what you enjoy doing, then by all means. But if you are more of a homebody, Play a new game, like right. try a new game, right. um, do something that's thought provoking where you are constantly learning about each other, you know, because that is what a relationship is about. It is two people building a relationship to kind of, be, well, you're married, so you're already one, but right. you know, you're building this relationship and it's meant to be for the long haul. So you want to continuously know like what makes your partner happy, what drives your partner and that helps keep the spark alive. Then it just being like, Okay, part of our regular scheduled programming. Right, right. Yeah. Because when, when you start to look at life like that, where it's like, okay, yeah, it's just another day and mm -hmm. just another month and yeah. another year, then it starts to get bored. So keeping that spark means keeping that fun. Yeah, keeping, keeping it that exciting. Joy, yeah. Keeping that joy, that excitement mm -hmm. in your relationship mm -hmm. because this is the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you enjoy being around that yeah. person. Uh, make sure that you still have fun with that person. Mm -hmm. And yes, there's a lot of moving parts when it comes to adulthood. And mm -hmm. definitely if you have kids and mm -hmm. you have uh, obligations and all these different uh, obstacles that or challenges that come in adulthood and yeah. just like living. Yeah. And it's so easy to get wrapped up into just your everyday the life. The routine but, of but things. You, but yeah. you have to continue to have fun mm -hmm. with yourself or, mm -hmm. or by yourself, but with your partner. Yeah. And having that partnership, mm -hmm. continue, continuing to enjoy each other yeah. is so important. But it's also not just about the fun, but it's also about the quality time that you're spending with mm -hmm. the partner. Is that true quality time that you're really enjoying with your partner? Are you, or are you just spending time yeah but it's not really quality yeah and another thing is intimacy mm -hmm. you know having that spark yeah. in your intimate relationship is it's important it's important too and it's it's healthy for your relationship right. and one thing that i wanted to say before you got into the next part is that adulthood has a lot of moving parts yeah. and you know it is easy for your relationship to be one of the things that gets put on the back burner when you do have kids and when you do have a demanding job and things like that um and then you fall in just to your routine of things mm -hmm. but something that is very 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 important and it's something that we've all heard before but is you make time for what you really want Ooh. you know you make time for what you really want That's and you bar. have to make time for your partner yeah the same way you make time for your job you commit to your kids you commit to your community mm -hmm. you commit to your friends your social life your social media like you have to make time for your partner mm -hmm. and that is what's going to help 
um, deepen that level right. of intimacy because intimacy isn't just physical. You right. know, it is the quality time that you spoke about and you understanding your partner and learning all facets of your partner. Mm -hmm. And that helps keep the spark alive by trying new things, by finding what makes your partner happy, understanding like what their love languages are and like really feeding that so that you're constantly... I don't want to say on the same page because you should be on the same page, but that's not the word that I was looking for. It's just that you want to be in sync with your partner. In sync, yeah. yeah, you want to be in sync with your partner. And that requires work. Right. It requires and, work. And the beautiful thing about long lasting relationships and marriages mm -hmm. is that it's never ending yes. as far as yes. learning about your partner mm -hmm. and knowing about your partner. Like yeah. we've been in a relationship for 12 years mm -hmm. and I still learn new things about you and vice versa on a yeah. weekly basis. Mm -hmm. And that's the beautiful thing about it is because mm -hmm. it's not just a, like you get a, 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 a secret formula and then that yeah, formula and it's works just forever. Like, uh, yeah. it, it, there's <laughs> yeah. always revolving parts that yeah. are continuing to be new right? and wanting to pursue that newness mm -hmm. in a way that mm -hmm. brings another le level of spark yeah. to your relationship so that you're continuing to learn, mm -hmm. continue to have fun, continue to have that quality time yeah. and that intimacy. All of that is so important for that spark to continue to be sparked. Yeah. To, <laughs> to continue to just kind of be like burning, you know right. what I mean? And, um, like we kind of said before in a previous episode and what we touched on a little bit just now is that, we are always evolving. And right. so the like things will change over the course of a year or what our likes and dislikes are. And so as a partner, it's up to us to do our part right. in a partnership. Yep. You know, it's two people working together. I have to do my part to understand and like better learn what your likes and dislikes are over the course of time because life continues to happen right. and we will respond to those changes and Things that we once liked will change and, and vice versa. And so, you know, it's up to me yeah. to, you know, also play my part and making sure that you're happy and understanding what your needs are right. and what makes you happy, you and, know? And that's, that is so important because you, every person is different and mm -hmm. every partner is different. Mm -hmm. Like all of my needs not, might not be all of your needs. Right, right. Um, and I know the things that make you happy and the mm -hmm. things that really serve you and, yeah. and make you wanting to continue to pursue me yeah and like you know things that we've done recently mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. ice skating yeah or or going on deep sea fishing that was the first oh time oh my ever. gosh like y'all that was an amazing time it was so much fun it was yeah. so much fun 12 years in it's mm -hmm. a completely new experience a new experience and yeah. that just continues to add that spark to mm -hmm. the relationship mm -hmm. because it's like we're continuing to do new things continuing to yeah. find out different ways to keep that spark and that's yeah. what this video is about and that's what's so important in relationships mm -hmm. because as the years go on and as you're five years in 10 years in 30 years in it's easy to just get into that mundane like yeah type of partnership where it's just like okay you're just going through the motions but you don't want to continue you don't want to just go through the motions you yeah. want to have fun with your partner you want to yeah. love your partner yeah. you want to enjoy spending exactly. time with your partner and yeah things like that mm -hmm. deep sea fishing going ice skating yeah going to a movie night you know yeah. just doing little date things that are just really you know passionate between you both of you mm -hmm. is is so important yeah we're just saying too that you have to make time for your partner and you have to understand that when you're in it you're in it to serve your partner and I know hearing the word serve can sound really prehistoric and or there may have some negative connotations behind it but when you're in a marriage you are serving your partner we're both serving each other it's not just that he has more um, power or precedence over me or vice versa. We are equal. We're right. one. So right. there's no competition. There's no you being ahead of me or this or that. So our, it's our job to, to serve each other. And by doing that, it is keeping the spark alive. And, and it and, serves our marriage. And, and it serves our marriage. And that's what, you know, gives it that quality. It gives it that sustenance. And that is what's going to keep us, as I said last time, kicking to <laughs> So we're in our 90s, still uh -huh. looking at each other, smiling at each other the same way we did when we were 30 and 31. So, Amen to yeah. that. 
So I think this is just a beautiful conversation. Mm-hmm. These are the type of conversations we have about yeah. relationship building. And whether whatever stage you're in, we hope that you can really appreciate conversations like mm-hmm. this because we're having conversations like this on a weekly basis where we're just trying to share some knowledge that we've mm-hmm. gained over the 12 years mm-hmm. of us being in a relationship, mm-hmm. be able to give it to you, and you take some bits and pieces to it and you apply it to your life. Of course. And with all of that said, we are going to sign off for today. I'm Jen. I'm Shane. And again, this is Humble Beginnings to Winning. Enjoy the journey. Bye.